Welcome to Soccer Daily from We Are Soccer. I'm Craig Hearn. All right, Champions League quarterfinals are here. Today's matchups, Benfica at home to Inter Milan. That's actually a really good game, believe it or not. And then the big one, the one we've all been waiting for. Man City are hosting Bayern Munich. This is going to be a game of tactical geniuses going at it. We've got Tuchel on one side, Pep Guardiola on the other. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be an awesome game. For both of these games, the return fixtures are being played next week. Coming up tomorrow in the other quarterfinal matchups, AC Milan are hosting Napoli, an all Italian Serie A matchup there, and Real Madrid at home to Chelsea. Another big game there. Both teams lost in their domestic leagues over the weekend. Real Madrid losing a thriller to Villarreal, 3-2. And Chelsea losing to Wolves, 1-0. Kind of a uh, stale game there from them. All right, a ton of women's international friendlies being played today as well, if you're into women's soccer. The teams are gearing up for the Women's World Cup, which kicks off July 20th. Yes, it's early. Early days, early preparations, but the teams are getting ready for it. USA is taking on Ireland tonight at 7.30 in St. Louis. That game can be found on HBO Max. Yes, if you're keeping track, USA did play against Ireland over the weekend, and that is the game that Mallory Swanson suffered a knee injury. Torn patella tendon. Not a good injury. Looks like she could be out for up to six months, missing the Women's World Cup. Also, tonight, CONCACAF Champions League is back as that returns for the second leg. Uh, Violetta AC are home to Lyon. Lyon lead 5-0 on aggregate in that one. And the all-MLS CONCACAF Champions League matchup is LAFC hosting the Vancouver Whitecaps. LAFC lead 3-0 on aggregate there. All right, from yesterday... Wrexham win 3-2 and are now top of the champion, uh, excuse me, the Nations League, which is the fifth tier of English soccer, if you didn't know. And if you didn't see the ending to the Wrexham Notts County game yesterday, where goalkeeper Ben Foster made an amazing penalty save in the final minute of the game to win that one 3-2 for Wrexham, well, you must be living under a rock because it's been all over social media and everybody from ESPN all the way down to the kid in the fourth grade have been talking about it. But seriously, go watch the highlights. What a great game. Again, non-league soccer is the fifth tier of English soccer, but an incredible game nonetheless. Go watch those highlights. All right, over the weekend, Brad Guzan, that's right, former U.S. men's national team goalkeeper Brad Guzan, tore his MCL, and he will now be out for up to eight to ten weeks for Atlanta United. This injury happened in the 17th minute of Atlanta United's game over the weekend. Brad Guzan continued to play and played for 73 minutes thereafter in the game with a torn ligament in his knee. Uh, in the Premiership, former Aston Villa manager Dean Smith has been appointed interim manager at Leicester City to see if he can help guide them to Premiership safety. His assistant manager, John Terry. John Terry was at Aston Villa with Dean Smith, so they do have a history there. We'll see if the two can lead Leicester City to safety in the Premiership. Who knows what will happen. All right, guys, that's been Soccer Daily from We Are Soccer. Please join us every day for news, soccer, everything else, and we, uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Take care.